Hello all, in this session I will be discussing most important standard test signal which is used in control system. The first one is step signal and second one is ramp signal, then parabolic signal and finally impulse signal. Before having individual discussion on standard test signal, why test signals are required? What is the need for this test signal? That means the test signals are used to know the performance of control system using time response of the output. That is why we are going to use the standard test signal. Now I would like to discuss about step signal. What do you mean by step signal? The step signal is a signal whose value changes from 0 to A at t is equal to 0 remains constant at A for t greater than 0. That means let us define a step signal in this manner with the help of a graph. Actually signal is a signal whose value changes from 0 to A when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 and it remains constant when t greater than 0 so after after this value so after t greater than 0 as you can see whenever t greater than 0 what is going to happen the value remains constant so it will be changes only when t is equal to 0 there is a change till this point it will be changing so whenever the value of t greater than 0 uh, the value, the magnitude is becoming constant. So this type of signal is known as step signal. So mathematically we can write R of t is equal to A. That means R of t is equal to, R of t is the input signal. So R of t is equal to A, then t greater than 0. Whenever t greater than or is equal to 0, R of t value is equal to A. Then after, if suppose, if you consider in the negative axis, if the value of t less than 0, if the value of t less than 0, what is going to happen? the output is equal to 0. So this type of signal is known as a step signal. So if you want you can convert in terms of S domain. Now it is available in time domain. If you want to convert the time domain signal into S domain by taking Laplace transform. That means L of R of T. L of R of T is nothing but R of S. That is equal to we can take Laplace transform of A that is nothing but A by S. Yes. You can convert time domain into S domain by taking Laplace transform. Now let's define unit step signal. It is a special case of step signal and one more important definition. The unit step signal is a signal whose value changes from 0 to 1 at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 and remains constant at 1 whenever t greater than 0 instead of a earlier case earlier step signal we put a magnitude is equal to a here instead of a you need to put 1 then it is becoming unit step signal that means we can define mathematically r of t that is equal to 1 where t greater than 0 t greater than 0 the value is becoming 1 the magnitude is becoming constant that is equal to 1 okay whenever t is equal to 0 it changes to 0 uh, thereafter the value, if the value of t greater than 0, then what is going to happen? Uh, the magnitude is becoming constant. That is happening on the graph. On the opposite side, if the value of t less than 0, output remains 0. So this type of signal is known as unit step signal and it is a special case of uh, step signal. So if you want, you can convert time domain into uh, S domain by taking Laplace transform. That means of R of t that is equal to R of S that is equal to Laplace transform of 1. It is nothing but 1 by S. Yes. This can be done. Now let's discuss RAM signal. What do we mean by RAM signal? RAM signal starts at the value of 0 and increases linearly with respect to time. That you can directly observe from the figure. The shape of the curve is straight line. So RAM signal is the integral of step signal. That is one of the most important point. Okay. Uh, the RAM signal has the ability to test how the system would respond to a signal that changes with respect to time. So that is why we are going to use RAM signal. Now let's define RAM signal mathematically. So R of t is equal to AT where t greater than 0. Okay. Suppose R of t is equal to 0. If the value of t less than 0 then I will be getting 0 output. Alright. So this is the mathematical definition of a RAM signal. One more important information. The RAM signal is a signal whose value increases linearly with the time from the initial value of 0 as we have seen. 
the ram signal is similar to a constant velocity to the system so that's another peculiarity of ram signal so if you want you can convert the ram signal into s domain by taking the laplace transform that means r of s equal to l of r of t l of r of t that is equal to laplace transform of at here now i need to consider why because if the value of t less than 0 output is 0 so l of at so a is a constant then what is the laplace transform of t that means 1 by s square so all together i can write a by s square if i want to convert uh, time domain into s domain i can use the laplace transform of r of t is equal to a divided by s square what is the application of uh, the ram signal so i found out that the application of ram signal is testing and verification of electronic system for the testing and verification of various electronic system we can use uh, ram signal so these are the basic information regarding uh, ram signal in connection with the RAM signal, let me discuss one more topic that is what is unit RAM signal. So we have seen RAM signal already. It is a special case of RAM signal in which the value of A is unity. Okay. Now let us define unit RAM signal mathematically. Unit RAM signal R of T that is given by the T where T greater than or equal to 0. That means it is a straight line. Okay. Then if the r of t value is equal to 0, if t less than 0, suppose if t less than 0, okay, if the value of t less than 0, I will be getting r of t is equal to 0. It's a straight line. If you want, you can convert in terms of s domain. That means taking Laplace transform, L of r of t, L of r of t is nothing but L of 1, that is equal to 1 by s. So this is regarding unit ramp signal. Now let me discuss on parabolic signal. The parabolic function represents a signal that is one order faster than RAM function. That means parabolic signal is an integral of a RAM signal. That is another peculiarity. So if you calculate the area of the RAM signal, you are able to get the parabolic signal. That means parabolic signal resembles a constant acceleration input to the system. So that's a peculiarity of parabolic signal. You can represent the diagram of parabolic signal in the particular graph. R of t versus t. That means you can see the particular curve of parabolic signal. It's just like a shape of parabola. So in mathematically we can define R of t is equal to a t squared divided by 2 where t greater than or equal to 0. On the opposite hand, the value of R of t is becoming 0 if t less than 0. So that is a peculiarity of parabolic signal. Uh, it is very easy to convert the time domain into s domain. That means you can convert by taking Laplace transform, L of R of T, that is equal to R of S. So if you take the Laplace transform, I will be getting A by S cube. So this will be the conversion. So A by S cube is the answer. So then let us discuss what is an unity parabolic signal. It is a special case of parabolic signal where A is equal to unity. If you want, you can put A is equal to 1, then it is becoming unit parabolic signal. Similarly, you can take the Laplace transform also. If I take the Laplace transform of unit parabolic signal, I will be getting R of S equal to uh, 1 by S cube. That's a peculiarity. Okay, so that type of parabolic signal is known as unit parabolic signal and it's a special case of parabolic signal. Now, let's discuss about impulse signal. What do we mean by impulse signal? A signal of very large magnitude which is available for very short duration is known as impulse signal. That is the definition for the impulse signal. Now let us inspect the peculiarity of impulse signal with the help of a graph. So R of t versus t, this is one of the graph. Now you can see, you will be getting the value. For the impulse signal, you will be getting the value only when t is equal to 0. So other than t is equal to 0, the output is equal to 0. So whenever t is equal to 0, you will be getting the infinite magnitude. So that is a peculiarity of impulse signal. So delta t, delta t is equal to infinity where t is equal to 0. So whenever t not equal to 0, either it may be minus t or plus t, I will be getting 0 output. The ideal impulse signal is a signal with the infinite magnitude and zero duration but the area of A. Moreover, impulse signal is also known as delta function. You can underline this point. This is also known as delta function. Now, if you want, you can calculate the area of that particular impulse signal. That means minus infinity to plus infinity delta of t dt that is equal to a. You will be getting the area that is equal to a. Moreover, if you want to convert the time domain into s domain. So, let us take the Laplace transform. So, Laplace transform of delta of t. Okay. Laplace transform of delta of t will be 1. That is unity. 
So if you take the Laplace transform of impulse signal, or they will be getting uh, unity or one. Okay. Discuss why do we mean by unit impulse signal? A unit impulse signal is also defined as a signal which has zero value everywhere except T is equal to zero, where its magnitude is infinity. So that is it is that is why it is known as unit impulse signal. So this is one of the most important point. Impulse signal is a derivative of a step signal that you have to note down. Moreover, impulse signal referred to as weighing function of the system. One of the most important application of impulse signal is defibrillator. So this is one of the biomedical application. By using defibrillator, it is possible to create artificial heart pulse. That is the main application of defibrillator. The main component or the main segment is uh, impulse signal. The main segment of defibrillator is impulse signal. In this session, we have discussed the importance of different test signals and uh, individual applications. I have offered the following textbook, the textbook of control system by A. Anand Kumar and the textbook of control system by A. Nagurkani. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this channel is useful for you, please do subscribe. Thank you.